<clears throat> My paper is looking for accurate representations of disability in all the wrong places. The use of dark small thank you for laughing. The use of dark small and the other to overthrow the uh, divisive discourse of disability. So the discussion surrounding disability typically finds a dichotomy of a society's responses to disabilities between the medical and the social models, both of which present disability as something to overcome, but for very different reasons. The inclusion of the voice of a disabled individual in the Marvel comic um, Darth Maul presents the idea that on the spectrum lies a middle ground in which the individuals and the community's experiences are brought together to not only address the physical wounds of disability, but also the social implications of the label. In the Star Wars universe, the Jedi protagonists use their political power to shape their society into believing that displays of emotion, especially displays of passion and anger, classify one as evil and thus disabled from engaging with society in the same manner that Jedi and other like-minded individuals do. Because the audience uh, is usually in the passenger seat of the Jedi stories, the Jedi are often led, or we are often led to assume that the Jedi possess the moral high ground and that their opponents, the Sith, are inherently evil and disabled and must be defeated. A closer look at the politics in play in this universe, however, suggests that the Jedi construct this overused idea of the battle between good and evil as a means to hold on to their power. The Jedi Order is found to be a morally corrupt society that exploits both the real and the imagined disabilities of others in order to present a narrative with themselves as the heroes, when in fact doing so they cause more pain and suffering than any member of the Sith Order. Star Wars Darth Maul presents Darth Maul as having two disabilities, post-traumatic stress disorder, and then according to the Jedi, the emotions of fear and anger. By centralizing a canonically marginalized character within the vast narrative of the Star Wars universe and highlighting both of these disabilities, the collaborative team of writer Colin Bunn, artist Luke Roth, and editor Jordan D. White presents a new point of view counterintuitive to that of the Jedi that questions the ideology of the Jedi as well as presents a story that advocates for the inclusion of more voices of individuals with disabilities. So the easiest model to dis of disability studies to analyze, the medical model, posits trauma as a psychological disorder that can and must be overcome. The medical model or medical clinical is, um, quote, concerned typically with an individual's response to some overwhelming stress or injury that produces a sense of helplessness or extreme disorientation. The individual experiences extreme anxiety, flashbacks to the events, and nightmares. <coughs> the DSM recognizes PTSD similarly. Darth Maul clearly fits this description. I think you finished the first slide. And he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of the Jedi plunder of the <coughs> English planet on which he trained in the ways of the Force. Darth Maul's flashbacks to this moment, as seen here, are very dark. They're represented by full-page panels colored with shades, dark shades of brown, gray, and black. Um, Darth Maul, I argue, is absolutely traumatized by the events depicted in these panels the color symbolizing the depressing emotions he associates with the genocide of his people by the Jedi Order. Um, the horrific panel in the upper right corner there um, also depict the Jedi Masters as monstrous beings with distorted faces. The particular Jedi depicted in these ma moments, Masters Plo Koon and Kit Fisto, are well known and equally documented. They actually look nothing like the way that Darth Maul remembers them, proving that this experience is seemingly warped in memory. These panels serve as proof of the reality of Darth Maul's trauma. It overwhelms him to the point that it's all he can think about, shaping his path as a villain. These panels are then broken up. I think the next page should be. Yes. So these panels are broken up by smaller, brightly colored panels, indicating the present time. These bright panels indicate not only a connection to the present tense, but also proof that Darth Maul is actively seeking out the path of the medical model in his desire to overcome his trauma. Um, <coughs> So I argue that he's trying to make these smaller panels consume his narrative instead of letting these darker, large panels um, consume his narrative. So if the darker colors symbolize his angst and hurt, the brighter colors juxtapose amongst them suggest more positive emotions or at least an attempt to reach them. This pairing implies that in the um, present moment, Darth Maul has the potential to suppress or even heal from his trauma. They become literal windows of hope. Nevertheless, the fact that these flashback panels consume so much space within the comic <coughs> and are only occasionally broken up by reminders of the present suggests that the feelings associated with these flashbacks are the ones that Darth Maul deals with the majority of his time with only um, brief breaks from. So in the comic series Darth Maul, which by the way takes place before episode one, probably should have mentioned that earlier, mm -hmm. um, Darth Maul does not over, uh, overcome or heal completely from his trauma as the medical model aimed for 
medical model aims for, but he does find what he believes to be a way to cope with this condition. The way that Dark Maul chooses to deal with his PTSD is to channel these feelings of anger and hate into a vengeful quest to annihilate the Jedi, because that's healthy. He <laughs> willingly throws himself into his fifth training as a means of becoming a weapon capable of destroying those who took so much from him, declaring, I was taught by Dark Sidious to help me focus my hate and my anger to help me endure, as the fifth before me had endured treachery and untold pain. So back on that same panel there. So liberty stripped from them, stolen by the murderous Jedi. Bless you. He makes a clear attempt to follow the ideology of the medical model in its effort to heal from this trauma, seemingly cementing himself as a believer in that model, although the creators of this comic do not use that particular term. Um, so Bun, Ross, and White, the creators, include this narrative as the clinical method in order to grant validity and depth to the character of Darth Maul. Rather than make him fully a puppet of the Jedi, they create a character that has real motivations and histories. Um, so because this comic takes place before episode one, he's still currently in the process of overcoming in the sense that he's still harboring hatred as a result of his PTSD of his comics later in this mini-series. I think it's the fifth um, and final issue is when he finally confronts the Jedi and actually has the, the lightsaber battle. Um, but while Darth Maul does ultimately fall short of the goal, he's not a complete failure at this moment in time because he approaches the trauma in that he's seeking to heal through the means of revenge meaning that he sees it as a burden to deal with and eventually overcome. So he fits the medical model in that manner. However, his story also fits the description of the social model of disability, in which a disability is defined by a society's willingness or lack thereof to accommodate individuals with physical and or mental limitations that are not present in the majority of the population.